Okay, so uh, in this video I want to show you how to solve both of those earlier area approximation and exact um, integration definite integral problems using Python. Uh, remember that we developed this area formula where we had the width of those rectangles b minus a over n times the height. Um, and we said that if we let the number of rectangles go to infinity, we're going to say that's the exact area under the curve and we're going to use this symbol the definite integral uh, to represent that so to start we just have to import uh, our standard libraries uh, again we're telling the uh, notebook that we're going to produce the plots in line here with matplotlib in line we're going to use numpy simpy and uh, the pyplot uh, function here shift enter executes that to begin um, let's approximate the area using four rectangles. So our pieces are the width, which is just b minus a over n, 2 minus 0 over 4. Uh, to find the heights, what we're going to do is we're going to use this function, x cubed minus 2x, and we're going to evaluate it at each of those um, widths of those rectangles, 1 width, 2 widths, 3 widths, and 4 widths. Okay, so we use a list comprehension and we loop through each of these values finding it cubed minus two times it because that's the rule of the function it says whatever x is take it and cube it and subtract two times it from it so this creates this list of heights all right we see that we have some negative heights there are some uh, y values below the x-axis to find the area we're going to take each of these values in this list and multiply it by the width so we have i times width for each of the values in heights and once we find those areas we see we have a couple negative areas and all we have to do to get our uh, approximation is to add these together so we use the sum function and we get an approximation of 1.25 okay so there's the uh, approximation problem with four rectangles the next thing we're going to do is to use the definite integral to evaluate this as n approaches infinity. So to do so, I'm going to actually define uh, this function. Um, we're going to create a bunch of points here for this domain, and we're going to plot um, we're going to plot the area under the curve using matplotlib. Uh, so to create the domain from 0 to 2, I'm, uh, I'll use numpy's linspace command. This creates 100 equally spaced points from 0 to 2. Um, and sure enough, if we look at this list uh, x, it, it's a big list with uh, 100 equally spaced points that start at 0 and go to 2. To define the function, um, this is new, defining functions. Uh, enter def f of x and then this here this x is what the user would input into the function uh, and we'll say it will return x cubed minus 2x so uh, for example if I wanted to know what f of 2 is I this is the syntax that I would enter and what it does is it takes 2 it cubes it subtracts 2 times it and tells me it's 4 so to represent this um, I'm going to use the plot function, plt.plot, and I can just enter my x value and f evaluated at those x's. Um, because I want to see this as an area, I can use the fill between command, and this will shade uh, in between x and f of x. Um, this alpha argument here uh, will just decrease the, um, the density of the color. And finally, I can add a title that says the area under that curve. So here we have uh, my title, area under uh, x cubed minus 2x. Um, and I have a plot that goes from 0 to 2, shaded underneath. And you see, sure enough, here we have a bunch of negative area. Finally, um, I can use SymPy to actually evaluate that definite integral. Again, if I'm going to use SymPy, I have to change x to be a symbol, x. And once I do that, I can use the integrate function. Um, I'll be able to use 
this function f of x and I'm evaluating it in terms of x from 0 to 2. And it appears that it's 0. So the other thing we can do is we can just find the actual antiderivative of f of x using just uh, without putting the limits in. We see that this is x to the fourth over 4 minus x squared. So remember our rule that we should be able to plug in the right endpoint, uh, subtract the left endpoint from this, and get the actual area. If we plug 2 in uh, to this expression, we get 2 to the 4th over 4 minus 2 squared. Uh, if we plug 0 in, it'll just be 0. So sure enough, um, our hunch is confirmed that the area under this curve is actually 0. So you see that our approximation with four rectangles uh, that told us 1.25 was actually not that great. Um, we could change this to be more rectangles and see how close we get. But uh, there's both ways how to approximate. Uh, uh, one approach to approximate the areas, again, you can carry this out a bunch of different ways. And uh, one way to find the exact, there are some other functions for integration in Python that you can use as well.